What's up guys, back again with another video. Now today we are gonna be talking about the best lenses for your Lumix line of cameras or for your microphone, microphone, what? What am I even- Your Micro Four Thirds cameras. So as you can see in the thumbnail, I'm gonna be talking about two lenses that are my favorite two lenses for beginner filmmakers that have a Micro Four Thirds camera. Starting up on the top lens that I would recommend, the first lens you get is not the kit lens because, I mean, honestly, the kit lens is fine if you just wanna have something that works with everything and that is super versatile, but honestly, I would never get the kit lens with any of my cameras and I would always get a prime lens. And that is because prime lenses most likely have a faster aperture, which means more blurry bra black, 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 more light opening up in the camera so you wouldn't have to bump that ISO all the way up. And then, also, the lenses would cost less than zoom lenses since there's less pieces of glass having to go into the lens. So I, personally, don't ever see myself buying a zoom lens for the Lumix cameras because most of them that are actually pretty, like, decently good are, like, a lot of money because they're made by Leica. And, oh my gosh, I could buy an EF lens with the same amount of money that I would have to spend for Micro Four Thirds cameras, and then if I got an EF lens, I could adapt that down to Micro Four Thirds with a speed booster and make me get a bigger field of view. That's just a whole another thing, a whole lot of junk I have to buy. So we're just focusing on Micro Four Thirds lenses today. So the first lens I would recommend is the 14 millimeter f 2.5, and I honestly think that the Nifty 50 isn't the first lens you should get because 50 millimeters is just such a zoomed in, cropped in, like, picture thing. And like, I struggled a lot with my 25 millimeter lens, which is actually a 50 millimeter lens because of the, because of the crop factor, because of the sensor size. I struggled a lot with trying to get everything I wanted in the shot in my super tiny room can't see my home room right now because I'm actually using the 50 millimeter lens and I'll tell you why later but you can't see a lot and when you're in a tiny space or in a tiny environment it's hard to get the shot you want so that's why I recommend getting a wide angle lens before you get the nifty 50 and I do recommend getting these lenses used because if you get them new, sometimes there'll be a lot more money than getting them used, and they were pretty much fine used. Just get it from either eBay or a trusted camera selling platform and not some sketchy, like, over, under market, the black back market place. Just get it from somewhere reliable. Now, this lens does not have the fastest aperture ever. It only has a f aperture of f2.5. So, 14 millimeter f2.5, best first lens you can get for the Lumix camera. Anyway, going on to the next lens is the 50 millimeter f- Oh my god, I keep saying 50 millimeter! 25 millimeter f 1.7. Now the reason why I love this lens is because it is a 50 millimeter equivalent, so it's a nifty 50. It's great for b-roll. It has a really fast aperture. This lens is especially great for b-roll and talking head videos like this because one thing that this wide angle lens doesn't do good in is making your face look the most flattering. The 50 millimeter lens is great for getting those nice super close shots and for filming yourself. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys got something out of this. If you wanna get one of these lenses, you can check them out on eBay or you can use one of my non-affiliate links down below. And in a few months, I'm going to be selling these lenses and my G85 camera to get a new camera. And when I do, I'm going to be putting links in the description to my eBay page so you can buy this from me because uh, why wouldn't you buy it from me? Like you, you know that it's gonna be good and not gonna be broken and stuff because it's from me. And I'll give you a pretty good price if you comment down below or like message me or whatever saying you're a supporter and you subscribe. So hit me up. All right, anyway, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to hit that bell so you can 
get those post notifications when I hit to do, do another video and I make sure always do what you love. <laughs>